Yes, Vivian. Well, who was he anyway? Someone you don't want to know. Yeah. Well, I think I do know him. I could swear I've seen him before somewhere. No, I don't. I don't think so, Vivian. I doubt that you have ever crossed paths with the likes of him. Yes, I have, too. It was here, at Dennis's wedding reception. He's a friend of Mr. and Mrs. Carrington's. Of Mrs. Carrington. And I am not certain how good a friend. Well, she must know him pretty well to invite him to her wedding reception. I'm sure she did. Mrs. Wheeler, I just hope you're not planning on getting too friendly with this Mr. whatever his name is. Shaw. Christopher Shaw. With this Mr. Christopher Shaw, because to tell you the truth, he gives me the creeps. I have no intention of becoming friendly with the man. Well, what a relief. I can't imagine you're thinking I would be on friendly terms with such a creature. Because I realize and I understand that you have to be friendly with... Friends of Mrs. Carrington's, you can't very well turn them away at the door. Perhaps that's exactly what I should have done. Why do you say that? Did he give you some kind of trouble of some kind? Some kind, yes. Well, I just wish Mr. Shaw had been here when Mr. Wheeler was here, because Mr. Wheeler would certainly know how to handle him. Vivian, Vivian, listen, you, you must not mention Mr. Shaw's visit to anyone, particularly not to Mr. Wheeler. If you say not to, I won't. I most definitely say not to. What did Mr. Shaw want? I understood at this reception that he was some kind of film producer. Uh, yes, yes, he, 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 he wanted me to invest in a film. Well, that'd be different for you. Investing in films can be very dangerous. Oh, you mean risky. I've heard that. I've also heard that sometimes you can get a terrific return on your investment. Yes. You have a point. What are you going to do? Calling Rena. Oh. Hello? Rena, it's Iris. How are you? Oh, fine, Iris, but I, I really can't talk now. I'm in the middle of something. Well, I, I won't keep you long. I... I was just hoping you could come into town for a little tea and gossip. Oh, honey, I can't. I, I really can't. I'm, I'm just too busy. Rena, you can't disappoint me. I was counting on it. Well, honey, you, you'll just have to uncount because I'm in the middle of baking a cake and I can't leave. Well, can't you come in when the thing is done? Honey, I can't. Look, if you're really set on, on having a nice little talk, why don't you just come out here and visit me? To the cabin? Yes. I'll even brew us some tea. Well, all right, I suppose I'll have to. Good. Look forward to seeing you. Bye. Mr. Lawrence, what a coincidence. I was just about to call you. Oh? I was thinking about the offer you made me. And? I'd like to know a little bit more about it. Well, I had the impression earlier that you weren't interested. Well, I've had a chance to think about it. Perhaps I spoke too hastily. What made you change your mind? Well, when you made the offer, I had another deal in the works, but uh, it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. A deal I might be able to help you with? No, it isn't. Why don't you just um, tell me a little bit more about this offer? What does it involve? Well, just uh, let's say it's something you've had previous experience with. I'm out of the porno business, if that's what you're referring to. No, I'm not referring to the porno business. Then what is it? Well, I'm doing a little checking on you, Shaw. It's uh, something I always do before commencing any business arrangement. I found out you had a little drug traffic going in L.A. Hmm. Yes, very little. I supplied a few pills to several producer friends of mine for parties or to keep their actors happy, but... Uh, Strictly a part-time venture among friends. Yes, will this be a full-time venture? I'm surprised that a man of your standing would be involved in drugs. Well, I'm involved in a lot of things, Shaw. This is just one of our little enterprises. Where do I fit in? Well, we're having a problem with distribution here in Houston. 
I'm not sure that I care to deal in drugs again. No. How much are you offering? The job offers, oh, let's say, uh, high dividends. How high? That depends on you, how hard you work. So, what's on your mind? You grew up with the Marshall family, didn't you? Well, we were sort of chummy when we were in high school. Not real close, except Justin, of course. But then we would go to dances and football games together. I'm not together. concerned with their social life. Then what? I want to know about Paige. What about her? Anything you can tell me. Iris, if this is part of your scheme to make trouble for Dennis and Paige... Rena, I did not drive all the way out here for a lecture. Please, I, I need some information. Okay, then be more specific. I want to know about Paige's Hollywood career. Now, I understand that you'll want to think about this offer. But you must understand that we've got to move quickly on this. Now, I've got a lot of things I must take care of, and I won't be in Houston much longer. Does that mean that I'll be working on my own? Well, I think I'm going to bring an associate of mine to Houston. I see, and who is that? You'll know everything you need to know once you've made a decision. Mm-hmm. And if I say no? If you say no, well, I guess we'll just have to get somebody else to help us. Hey, boss, it's liquor delivery man. Billy Joe, how many times have I told you to knock before you come in here? But I did knock, Mr. Shaw. You knock and then you wait until I say come in. Sorry, I'll remember that. Good to see you again, Billy Joe. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, good to see you too, Mr. Lawrence. You two know each other? Yes, Billy Joe and I are working together now. Haven't I mentioned that, Chris? How forgetful of me. Seems like Billy Joe forgot to mention it, too. Oh, Billy Joe was merely following my instructions. I had asked that I be the one to tell you. But in the midst of our discussion, I just completely slipped my mind. Uh, may I ask what kind of work Billy Joe does for you? Well, it's not really that kind of arrangement. What kind of an arrangement is it? I've invested in Billy Joe's clients. Elena Decker? Yes. I got a good feeling about Billy Joe. I think he's a very enterprising young man. Yes, I'm beginning to think so myself. I also think that he's uh, going to go a long way. Oh, uh, hey, boss, uh, there's a liquor delivery man out back. He says he's got to talk to you. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Okay. So, oh, Billy Joe. Yes, sir. Uh, you were mentioned that I might be able to drop by some evening and hear Elena sing. Well, yes, sir, I did. How about tonight? Oh, uh, well, sure. Tonight would be fine. You know, Elena's going to have a rehearsal uh, in just about an hour. I could hurry him up in a rush, Mr. Lawrence. No, I can wait. Well, great. Then we'll see you over by the bandstand in about an hour. Right. All right. <laughs> I don't like this little uh, alliance that you've arranged without my knowledge. I didn't ask you to like it. Now, Billy Joe's a very smart young man. He enjoys working for me. You could learn a lot from Billy Joe. Now, I just think I'm going to have myself a little look around the place. 